Alex Bachum, the Game Closet Gamer, back with another video. So, I'm already doing my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 15, but there's another game to me. And like I said, Final Fantasy 15 is easily the second best RPG I've ever played, on the PS4 at least. But this isn't even number one. Number one is Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. But this is a very fun game. Fallout 4 is an interesting game, to say the least. It changes the style of the traditional Fallout series. It's going away from the skill point system, and it decided to focus mainly on the perks, which I think was stupid, but some it's a mixed opinion kind of thing. It all depends on how you think how you want to play it. But here's some th here's how I'm going to go through Fallout 4. I'm not going to do a let's play because I'm already doing a let's play of Final Fantasy and trust me, that's already going to take up a good portion of my time just trying to do that properly. So this is going to be a playthrough, as in I'm going to play the game and I'll make commentary and I'll explain a few things and talk about stuff, interesting stuff, but I'm not going to actually try to, you know, teach you everything I need to teach you. Because let's be honest, that'd be some bullshit, because that'd take me a fucking year to do. So instead, I'm going to play through it, I'll go over some interesting stuff. If you like watching me, keep on watching me. If you don't like it, then get the fuck off my channel. It's simple as that. And this isn't, this isn't an actual, like, LP. I'm probably going to be a lot less uncursed. Where we also not to mention this game is rated M for Mature, so I can actually curse on this one. Now, if it was rated T for Teen, such as Final Fantasy, I would not be cursing. But, without further ado... I'm gonna go ahead and disable the mods. I mean, uh, I love mods, but they do kind of make the game a bit unfair. To a degree. So I'm gonna disable the ones that I feel make the game overpowered for my character. I think I'm just gonna keep the visual mods in. But I'll have to see. No build limit, of course. Do I want an angel footlocker? You know what? Yes. But I'll be the one, like... <laughs> I guess that'll be my, my little health thing. My little help thing. Keep custom radio stations. Oh, gotta keep the loaded loaded screens. I'm sorry, but... If I don't keep loaded loaded screens, this game will get boring so fast. I'm gonna have first person animation tweaks. So that'll enable it to where... It'll make, when I'm in first person view, it'll make it a bit more interesting. Just, it'll feel a lot more like an actual RPG. The realistic gunfire, obviously. Laser and plasma, I'll take that off. National Guard supplies there. And I think, I think I'm actually gonna do simple white. Um, yeah. So. In particular, with this game, one of the difficult parts for me to play through it is that the beginning, I love the beginning at first, but after having played it so many goddamn times, it does start to wear you out, I'm not going to lie. But for those who have never, somehow in hell, have never played this game, and the odds are they're actually watching it for their first video, woohoo, congratulations to you. I'm not going to spoil the beginning. And I'll probably be quiet during this cutscene, just because, or I might make some commentary on it. I haven't decided yet. In all honesty, this is an LP, so I don't have to worry too much. It's just a walk, just a playthrough. Hmm. So, if you are watching this, I have a question. I have a, I propose a challenge to any of my viewers. I want you to please leave a like on this video. And I want you to comment something you think, what, like, comment some topics about the Fallout franchise and what you think of it. Because to me, I think it's one of the best series it's ever made. I'm not going to lie. It's one of my, it's one of my all-time favorite franchises when it comes to video games is the Fallout series. It's just, I like 3 and I love New Vegas. I love 3, I love New Vegas, but this one could have been better. It's still a great game, don't get me wrong. But they just fucked up on a few things. 
damn those graphics though. War. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather. Damn. Serving in the army. Salute to the troops out there. He'd get to go home to his wife. Complete respect. Love you all. And the son he'd never seen. He got his wish. When the U.S. ended World War II, <sighs> by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh boy. The world awaited Armageddon. I love how they built an actual like a plastic Something model of the explosion. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion powered cars, portable computers. But then in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Hmm. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. Damn, she's pretty though. For my infant son. She beautiful, no lie. Because of my time in the army. You just taught me one thing. It's the war. Damn. Changes. Oh, that was one hell of an intro. No lie, no lie. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead. Mm -hmm. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna try too hard this one. I'm just gonna go with where he is right now. Actually, no. I will do one thing. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. You ever notice that sometimes I feel that the character looks kind of like Captain America? Like, I mean, I know, you know, like, you can make it any way you want, but personally, I feel like he just seems to Thanks, give me a Captain American vibe, like, uh, Steve Rogers. Look over here, you can see the vault tech people just waiting at my fucking door so I can answer it. I mean, it could be worse. It could be Jehovah Witnesses. Oh my god, that would be hell. Sir, can I tell you about my Lord and Savior? No, thank you. The world's on the control. I'm tired for that shit. But, sir, I won't leave until you have this conversation with me. We're just stuck outside by the fucking no, door. Sure, well, the world's going to hell. <laughs> it's the equivalent of Fallout, the Sims video game. <sighs> See, I love the quality in this game now. Like, now the HD looks fucking well, amazing. Oh, it actually looks really good because I have since like I've said before in my Final Fantasy game, let's be if anyone's ever actually been watching that lately, is that since I'm doing a live stream, it goes through YouTube, which for some reason runs it at like sixty frames per second ten eighty P. But it looks amazing compared to what I normally get from it. Of course, so I do have a mod running to make it go even faster than it already is. It's probably that salesman. Comes from you I'm so proud of her. Damn, she is hot. 
sexy and smart. Too bad she got to die. Vault Tech. Vault Tech. Remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Jeez. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. Damn, that's you one hell of a sales pitch. You know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a... Then I'm glad you caught up with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so oh my I God. But there's room for my entire family, right? Right? Of course. Mm. Of course. Miner's your robot. Hey, bastard. Codsworth is part of the family. If Codsworth don't go, none of us go in. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> okay. So, my name is... That's right, folks. My name is Alex Bakum. I've been keeping y'all such fucking uh Oh did I leave that mod on? No I didn't. I hate that. I wish it would have gone back to where like you can pick which ones you want. Like so I get five of each cat in Fallout 3 in New Vegas. It's set to where normally you get five of each special skill and then you get an additional five you can put into any of the five you want. For you and Sean, but no they do things a little bit differently in this game. <laughs> Since you can actually directly moments. level up your uh, special skills with uh, every time you level up. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, every time you level up, you're given the ability whether you want to pick a perk or if you want to go ahead and just be you want to put it inside another fucking uh, special. So you can you technically have a limited amount. That is one ugly ass baby. No lie. I feel like this game just reminds me of goddamn Sim. Of like. Yeah, it reminds me of The Sims. No lie. Even like the pictures, the colors of these walls. Oh my god. Nora, we gotta get out of here. This isn't Fallout. This is the fucking Sims. This is Sims 7. No. This is Sims 8. Oh my god. Yeah, sounds like fun. We're gonna have kids get older and older and get pointless jobs and then die and then our kids are gonna have older and older and have pointless jobs and then die and then their kids are gonna get older and older, have pointless jobs and then die. And all the meanwhile Followed by Well speaking of yes, goddamn language we don't even understand. Ah, I'm overreacting. I think he's saying the world's been blown up, you dumbass bitch. I'm sorry, Nora. I didn't mean it. I'm just under a lot of stress right now. I mean, I could really go for a smoke. I said I could really go for a smoke. Guys, I could really go for a smoke. Okay, it's not gonna let me smoke. That's some bullshit. We need to get to the vault now. I love how it leaves that shit right there. Okay, bitch, you better hurry up. I'm leaving you. I'm sorry, Nora, but I don't got time for this shit. Like, Sean's pointless. I give up on him. Ah, oh, my favorite part of the game. Since I have the mod installed, it's all snowy as if it's winter. Pretty beautiful, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Bitch, post up, huh? I'll a sergeant. What you got on me? You got shit. I love how it's just in the back room. He didn't even bother putting on their clothes. Okay, okay. Like, to don't totally in. let me in. On the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Well, never understand why none of these people try to Thank go on the list. Like, I'm sure I wasn't What's able because my military this background. This Which would make sense. Even though all of all tech experience were designed to, like, freeze us. So I guess they just wanted, like, they probably wanted one of each ethnicity. 
I mean, let's look at these people here. We got redhead, blonde, black, bald, hot ass there. bitch with my okay. damn son of a fuck. I love you. Nora. Both of you. We love you too. I love how I feel like the oh fucking God. Terminator. I love you. Both of you. Oh no. A giant explosion. We'll be fine. Off the lovey stuff. Sorry, that's like a fucking asshole. But that's just what I do when I play uh, walkthroughs. Because, like I said, this is an LP. I'm not gonna be like trying to teach you shit, explain the game. I'm just gonna be playing the goddamn game as I played this goddamn game so many freaking times I can know by the back of my hand. And in all honesty, the Fallout franchise this is such a big world. It'd be almost impossible to like actually go through it all. I mean, it's possible. I've seen a guy named Yonkast Will or William Strife. He does an amazing one on Fallout 3 and New Vegas both. He's a really good guy. Y'all should check him out. It's uh, William Strife. He's really fucking good. But in all honesty, I'm not like that. Like, even he didn't like go try to like <laughs> use the analog stick to move. Fucking touch ass, bitch. If we weren't all the same height in this goddamn universe, I'd kick your ass. No, for real. Check it out, man. We're like all the same goddamn height. What are the odds? There is some mod here because I'm so taller. I, I honestly thought about getting it for a while, but then I decided against it just because I don't want to like alter the game too much. Just graphic wise. And cheat. Thanks. What now? So, here's the thing that bothers me about this. How the fucking hell do they not realize this is literally a chirogenic chamber? Chirogenic. I guess it's chirogenic. Like, look at this shit. I mean, are you kidding me? It's, you don't tell me you don't feel the cold. Do they have these idiots not understand? Did they, are they fucking retarded? Like, I, I think I understand. They tell, I'm not sure why they chose their specimens, it doesn't really say, I've looked through all their stuff on their terminals. But like, did they just pick the dumbest motherfuckers available? Because, you have to be a complete retard not to realize that this is a chirogenic chamber. Chirogenic, I guess it... Damn, those graphics look good. Mixed with my, uh... Mixed with the mod I installed, to make it look everything, the frames run faster than it already is. And then I got 60 frames per second due to the live stream. So this game really does look fucking beautiful, at some points. And then you look at a person's face and you want to throw up all over a goddamn dog because you can't handle just how fucking ugly it is. Yeah. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. Oh boy. This game is something else. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's easily one of the best games. I need to stop saying that shit because I know it's not true. It's not one of the best games. It's a fun game. It's enjoyable. You'll go get fun out, especially with the mods. The mods make this game worth it. The DLC, um, how do I put this? The vault, the vault one is stupid. I like autom, I like automatron. I think Nuka World is okay. I mean, I had no, no, I can't say that. I haven't got a chance to play it yet, so how the fuck can I say it's okay? Just that'd be some bullshit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Oh boy. Okay, so here's a fun fact. I do not understand. To this day, I still don't get it. I didn't get it when it first came out, and I still don't get it. So, as you can tell, the chi the cyro the chirogen chamber is still operating, right? Still working just fine. Everything's dandy. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna shoot my wife in a minute. Shoot her already. Come on, put a bullet through her head. Well, not through her head. Okay, right, right there, right there. Those that that should have saved her. But like, think about it. She's been frozen, correct? So if she's been frozen right here, I should be able to get over there in time. And like, you know, fucking heal her? I don't know, like, she should be frozen, so she won't be bleeding out, uh, evidently. I mean, I know it's an open wound, but still. Uh, unless he shot her directly in the heart, which I don't think he did. She should still be alive.
No, baby, no. Don't die. Oh, hi, Mark. Sorry, it's a reference to The Room, the worst movie ever made. Okay. Oh, I, said, I, don't, I have to do it, I'm sorry. You move with the left analogs, Dick, and you move, you look with the right. Come on! There has to be a release! release. Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on! Oh, God! Sounds like me when I'm having sex. Oh, God! Come on, come on, come on, come on! There has to be a release! Oh, my poor wifey. Let's get out of this goddamn place. <coughs> Why would vault do this? I don't understand. It's not like they were evil or anything. Okay, in all honesty, though, how the fuck did they get away with this shit? Let's be honest. You're really telling me nobody in the government had a problem with this shit? Hell. Like, I mean, I know people in the government are supposed to be heartless. A lot of them are, but nobody is this heartless. I'm, like, not even Hillary Clinton. Actually, I don't know. She's pretty fucked up in the head. But I don't know a lot of people. Giant roaches? roaches. What the hell? You know what we need. Is teenage and mutant and turtles with this? That'd be the fucking bomb. Yeah, fucking bitch. Grab this red room meat so I can cook it later and eat it. You have to be pretty fucking desperate being a roach meat. I'm sorry, but you do. What happened here? Where is everyone? I wonder if he died of starvation. Nice. I'll come back later for you. Oh my god, this fucking game, it's a fun one, it's fun, it's not as good as 3 or, f as three or New Vegas, but it's still fun. Evacuation tunnel. I'm sorry, but my military strip my military training, I should not be missing a single roach. Yeah, I missed like 500 times. I think the big part reason why I think this guy looks just like Captain America is the suit. But, personally, I think I prefer... What the fuck is it? Okay, I gotta figure out what that... I really do want to figure out... Where the fuck it is. Okay, there it is. Now, it's time to open the goddamn vault. 
I will say this much. The vault opening in this game is very much better than it was in 3 or New Vegas. With... <sighs> When it came to opening the vaults in uh, New Vegas, I only saw it like once or twice. And it was alright, but it was nothing compared to the vaults opening in this game. Let me show you. It is some master shit. Okay. Just watch this shit. Just watch it. Like, it's some pretty cool shit. Man. And I always thought the ball opening inside a three was cool. So when they did this. Sorry, you probably can hear me rail a minute ago. So when they did this shit, I thought it was pretty damn awesome. With my luck, like, the quality of my voice is probably so much slower than the music, so you still won't be able to hear me. Let's go to a... Oh, there we go. Sorry. I just had to shoot that damn metal. It just... Damn, that sounds realistic. That sounds really good, actually. I thought they really made that mod. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing... The Vault Tech. Tech. Oh, okay. Some creatures like the Mirelord King, Chameleon Deathclaw, a sentry bot can utilize their stealth to turn themselves almost invisible and ambush unworthy prey. Fucking cheaters. See, I have a loaded loading screens on, so therefore, like, every single time, the loading screen is gonna have some funny, sarcastic-ass joke. Damn, though, like, can you imagine an invisible deathclaw? That has to be the most scariest shit ever made. <sighs> Is I'm the kind of guy who goes from. Actually, no. And now, uh, a word or several. I'm not even sure if you can hear this shit because. Choice chops. Wants you to know we have meat. Just meat. Stop asking if we have anything else. <laughs> this is civilization by. Uh, He's so depressed. By Damn. Look at this place. Like, I'll say this much. I'm very glad I put the snow in. It doesn't do much at all to the story. But it just feels right, you know? Like, we're about to have a war for the US. General George Washington. Nice revolutionary. Oh, I refuse to go. No one, none. Nice. Oh, no. Your sign is real. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, man, the grass. What the fuck? Wait. Is that new? It's not supposed to look like that. That looks green. What the hell? Huh. See you down there, watch people. I need to stop singing, it's probably really bad. What happened? What happened to 
the world. Uh, well, sir. Well, Here's the go. Damn it, I'm sorry, but the music's just too goddamn catchy. <laughs> Why is killer? She can't be dead at a better place. She's in a better place, Codsworth. She's in a better place. Sir, Damn right she is. Have you seen this goddamn world? It's fucking horrible. Well, I mean, I'm sure he does, but he's a fucking how he's not even a month year old. Sean's been kidnapped, but I'm going to find him. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger and you're right. Um, relation. Oh, stay right here. Yeah. I apologize in advance. My singing is the most god awful thing on the planet. Two hundred years. Two hundred years? Why? Are you? A bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir. Or give and take. That goddamn logo. That means. Earth. You're acting strange. You will never I fail that speech check. I promise you. I guarantee. I bet you they haven't said it a hundred percent. Because I have never seen anyone ever fail that speech check ever. Oh no, baby! This is the song. This is the song. Fall three, bitches. The real shit. One is you. Thank you, Codsworth. Now, Adam, sure. shall we, sir? All right. Out leaving. Vision. Was it something I said? Wanna be the one you love. Admission. The same. I just want the world I'm dreaming of. I gotta stop singing. I'm sorry, I'm so bad. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Let's go, Codsworth. Oh, I just saw something. Oh, baby, that's a good way to cheat. Dude. Holy shit, I just realized that. Oh my god, so all you gotta do is hit the, uh... Oh, shit, what do you call it? The VAT menu, right? And then you just enter out of it, and you just hit fire. And you'll hit every time. Codsworth. Mr. Alex, the Mrs. and young Shaw. They are here, are they? Here. I understand. It's not your fault, Codsworth. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. Uh huh. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, all right. We gotta go to Concord. Hey, Codsworth. Well, first things first, boys. We gotta build our house again. Okay. Welcome to our home, boys. Welcome to our home.
Oh, there's the keys. I think. What the fuck are they? Where the fuck are my keys? Where the fuck are my keys? Fuck. My keys aren't here. That could be a problem. I mean, I could always try to take it. Oh, this one's obviously the most important. Okay, we got this. Sweet. Eight rounds. Gonna get our military supplies on. Damn, that sounds so good. I just wasted a bullet too, but it was so worth it. Holy fuck, that sounds beautiful. I'm coming, buddy. Now, I don't have the key, so I probably shouldn't open my box yet. Go ahead and build ourselves a bed. Oh, this is a nice ass bed. Yeah. I can see myself living in that. Yeah. So, um, this radio station, we, we don't really make any caps. And, uh, there are, uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like, uh, like this. Power noodles. Our chef only says one sentence, but that's okay, because he only serves one thing. Uranium fever is on next, and, well, uh, I'm pretty sure it's time to come back. Yes. Okay. Let's, sorry, I've been really quiet a minute ago, um... Sorry, when I play video games, like, I do sometimes get quiet. I apologize. Fucking bitch. Oh my god, that works so well. I'm sorry, but that is like... I'm gonna go ahead and just get to the goddamn station and I'll probably be in that's enough for today. And then I'll probably do my Skyrim let's play. Yeah, bitches, I mean 
I can do three at a time, right? Maybe? No? Well, I should sure as hell try. Odds are I'll fail miserably, but I gotta, you know what I mean? It's a fucking dock. Myself. Let's go. With me, pal? Damn right. You're mine now. Okay then. Let's stick together. So we got our dog. Um I'm gonna close the garage. I think I'll call that a day. Um, uh, yeah, I want to say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.